Hello, welcome to my platform. For those who don't know, my name is Yalmikia. I'm a certified hair loss practitioner and a licensed cosmetologist. I've been in the beauty industry now for 17 years, and um, I've gained a lot of information, resources, and knowledge over the years, um, as well as experience. So I have a lot of resources and information that I would love to share with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna get straight to the point today. I wanna talk about... <clears throat> causes is what causes hair loss like different things that causes hair loss um and there are a number of things that can contribute to hair thinning hair balding and completely hair loss so um one of the things let's say medical wise overall medical some of the things that causes hair loss on the medical side would be anemia um thyroid disease like um um, hypothyroids or hyperthyroids, um, diabetes, uh, kidney disease, um, uh, as many illnesses or diseases and even medicine um, that causes hair loss. Um, your digestive disorders, uh, poor nutrition diet, um, a nutrition deficiency, uh hmm rapid weight loss um it's a lot like and those are all medical so um like i said there's a lot of different um ways where you know you can suffer from hair loss medically now let's talk about environmental wise like if you work in a um environment where there is high metals aluminum chemicals toxic chemicals and things like that and heavy metals then you can also suffer from hair loss and this specific um hair loss disorder would be called um um alopecia it's called alopecia um telogen effluvian so telogen effluvian is what i just said which is when you work in an environment that has high metals and chemical toxic chemicals and things like that um in the air and that causes your hair to slowly fall out but the good thing about it is your hair grows back so um um exposure to radiation is another environmental um way which is chemotherapy you know that's environmental but it's medical as well um so hmm some scalp disorders also causes hair loss so like um psoriasis that's a um um a skin disorder where you can suffer from hair loss if you have it on your scalp and you can also suffer from hair loss due to um um superior dermatitis um that's like when your scalp has like inf um it's inflamed isn't it's inflamed really bad and it's causing um oily scaly patchy um flakes on the scalp um fungal bacteria infections also contribute to hair loss um ringworm which is ringworm that's an example uh dandruff um eczema of course um which is a scaly itchy scalp um you know uh, parasites um infections it's just a number of things that can cause hair loss and some of the time it don't even have to be your fault you know so um some of the things that i would recommend when you're suffering from hair loss depending on what it is um is watch what you're eating because your diet can definitely what you put in your body is what comes out so you have to be very careful with that your diet can definitely reflect in the hair if you're not drinking enough water you can definitely um start your hair will start to shed a lot um so if you noticing that your hair is shedding ask yourself are you drinking water um do you smoke cigarettes do you drink alcohol um are you getting enough sleep these are the things that can also contribute to hair loss. So um, if you want to stop it and you want to, you know, see a decrease in your hair shedding, then you may need to make some lifestyle changes. So um, including in your diet. So um, I think that would be it for today that I would like to share. If you guys have any questions, um, <clears throat> any concerns that you would like 
for me to discuss, please comment below the video and um, I will be sure to, you know, respond um, and, you know, get back to you with that answer to your question. So thank you for watching. Until then, I love you guys.